Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's look is a little bit more dramatic and sultry and sexy. I love it. I'm very into it. I was starting off this video having no idea where it was going to go, but I'm very happy with where it went. So if you guys want to see how I did this sexy elevated cat eye, then just keep on watching. I'm actually very excited to do this makeup. I feel like it's gonna be very dramatic. This is me starting the video. Obviously, you know what it's gonna look like by the intro, so I'm hoping it's a good one. For foundation, I haven't stopped using these NARS tinted moisturizers. I'm mixing these two shades, Norwich Light 1.5 and Mykonos Medium Zero. I just love the finish of it. I love that my skin still looks natural and then I can go in with a heavier concealer and get any areas that need a little bit more coverage, but overall it gives a flawless, more natural finish. As you can see, that layer has been buffed in. Also, I'm obsessed with dual ended brushes. You're gonna see throughout the entire video, I'm using three different ones. I'll show you now, so if you're interested. This one is sculpted by Amy Connolly. She's an Irish makeup brand. I have this one by It Cosmetics, which is pretty iconic. I feel like a lot of people have this one and love it. And then the Huda Beauty one, which is a little bit more um, of a different shape. So a little bit more tapered and then short and stubby where these two are a little bit more similar. These are literally the only brushes I have been using lately. So you can see it's just a nice, natural, just even base. I obviously raved about this in my previous makeup tutorial, but I just wanted to show you a little halfway point. Obviously, I haven't blended that side out, but oh, it's really beautiful. And even if you have oily skin, as long as you use a good setting powder, it's still beautiful. For added coverage, my NARS Creamy Concealer in Custard is always a go-to. In the winter, I would tend to use the shade Vanilla a little bit more, but Custard has been an OG, and I'm pretty sure I've gone through four or five of these tubes. I'm gonna take my Huda Beauty Setting Powder in Pound Cake, so it's the lighter one. I have Banana Bread as well, but I'd probably use that on other areas of my face. I'm gonna take this one and just quickly go under my eyes to set that and so that it doesn't crease. Moving on to contour and bronzer, I'm gonna be taking these iconic London liquid bronzers or contour shades. I'm gonna take the shades Caramel Glow and Golden Hour and mix the two of them just because one has a little bit more depth and the other one's a little bit more of a bronzy warm tone shade. And I'm just gonna put this on the outer corners of my face to create a little bit more definition, a little bit more warmth, and it's just gonna give more structure to my face. I'm obsessed with that finish. I just think it's super natural but gives the perfect amount of structure that I want. Also doing that little trick of putting a little bit of the bronzer around your lips automatically makes your lips look fuller and juicier. So that's a great trick and I feel like a lot of people are doing that at the moment. Moving on to blush, I'm mixing another two iconic London shades. These are the Sheer Blushes in Power Pink and Rose Riot. We have one that's like a really pretty bright bubblegum pink and then this is like a really soft baby pink. So I'm just gonna mix these together for a little bit more of an ombre blush. Because we're doing quite an intense, bold cat eye, like very dramatic, I feel like my brows need to be a little bit more structured and filled in. So I'm taking my MAC Brow Pencil in Spiked and just going through and filling in any sparse areas. I do have my brows microbladed, but if you don't know, that's why they look a little bit more full having nothing in them. But if I want a little bit more structure, I just go in with a little bit of an eyebrow pencil and it looks a little bit more structured and defined. As you can tell, it doesn't take a lot for them to look very intense, but it will balance out the eye look that we're doing. Wish me luck here. We are going in with quite an intense black. I'm gonna use a coal liner and then I might perfect it with a liquid one if I feel like it needs a little bit more sharpness to it. But this is the L'Oreal Liner in Cashmere. <sighs> We're just gonna really try to meet that corner. I'm gonna try and lift it a little bit more, not too high, but we're going like our entire eye. Like it's a fully enclosed black cat eye with a lift. So I'm not gonna talk, I'm just gonna do this. Hope they look alike. <sighs> Need to take a little breather. I've always learned that breathing up through your nose brings back the tears. <laughs> so let's hope so. I'm gonna step away from the liner and pick up a little angle brush and kind of just make things look a little bit more precise, like especially the outer corner here. I want it to like fade into nothing. I don't want it to be like super sharp because we've used coal, so I don't wanna, you know, make it look like a hard edge, if that makes sense. Like if I was using liquid for this, it would be super perfect and I want it to have a little bit more of a softness to it. So that's what I'm hoping to do. 
Okay, you know what? I'm actually really happy with that and I don't think I'm gonna even add the liquid liner because I wanted it to have that softness to it. So we're gonna move on to mascara. I'm just gonna quick do a quick coat of the Maybelline Colossal Smoky Black and then we're gonna add some false lashes at the outer corner. Of course, I'm getting it all over my eyelid. Clean up the lid after, I just wanted to do a quick coat. I've cut these in half. I have no idea what lashes these are, so I'm very sorry in advance, but I just had one in my um, little makeup collection and I just cut them in half, but they're very like, like fluffy and wispy and I literally just want them at the outer corner. It's so hard now, my lashes are so long naturally that I could just really amp it up. Like does lashes even, I don't know if lashes are even for this look. Guys, I don't think lashes are for this look. I'm just gonna do like a couple more coats of mascara. I'm gonna go in with Lancome Lash Idol and just coat them up because I feel like this look needs cleanness at the sides with the the flick and I feel like lashes just might be so heavy that it would blur the shape if that makes sense so let's just do a couple more coats of mascara I'm gonna just put a little tiny bit on my lower lashes crazy how literally one color of a liner can just transform the whole look like it's just so dramatic and sexy Love it. Okay, feel like I need to amp up my face a little bit more, so I'm gonna take a powder bronzer, obviously Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Bronzer, and I'm just going to quickly define my cheekbones a little bit more because I feel like this eye look is really structured and my face needs to kind of meet it a little bit halfway. Yeah, that definitely helped. And then to further it, I'm taking the Huda Beauty um, setting powder in Banana Bread, so it has a little bit more of a skin tone shade to it and I'm just gonna go right under that to further define it okay I normally wouldn't but I feel like to even further emphasize this cat eye especially this area here I'm gonna take the iconic London illuminator in the original shade I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand first because this stuff is pigmented like real pigmented and I'm just gonna take a little bit tiny inchy winchy bit and pat it in right there like that is the smallest amount and you're getting glow it is super intense but i love it i just want it to be very 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 subtle so i just sheared out on the back of my hand first and that tends to help i'm also going to take the spoolie side and clean up my lid from all my mascara little mistakes now the most important part lips i'm going to use a combination of a couple things sorry we're going to do pinky brown and terracotta from huda beauty for lip liner just to you know create a perfect outline a little bit more depth on the outside and then we'll see what we're going to fill it with i think i'm going to mix these two just because the outline of the liner might be a bit intense with a really light lipstick so i'm going to take sweet cheeks and empress together i'll put sweet cheeks on first it is so pretty Obviously that's a little too dark, I think, with the look. So we're gonna take Empress and this will pale it up just a little bit. This is the final look. It is dramatic, but actually it is quite easy. It's a little bit more time consuming just to perfect that liner. I feel like it's the more elevated, structured, smoky eye look. You know how everyone normally goes for like a really heavy black, blown out smoky eye. I feel like this is the more refined, classy version. Still very sexy and fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.